Uh, John McAfee dying um, is the perfect storm thing right now because I can already know what people are going to say already. And I I looked at a channel of a dude who usually is supposed to talk about crypto. And I knew what he was going to say. This thing, I don't even, we don't even fucking know, like, I'm not going to go and be the first guy to be like, oh, uh, John McAfee didn't commit suicide, just like Epstein or anything like that. I just don't know, right? But that's why it's the perfect storm, because people are already expected to know what they think. And fucking just wait a minute. Um, right now is one of those times, you know what I mean? It's like a few hours, and well, you can wait a couple days and find out. More or less before you say, because it's going to be about what you know. What I'm saying this is the media loves this time right now because they're going to find all their wing nuts right now. They're going to zone in on a few people that are known to have these type of views or this type of views, and they're going to compartmentalize those. That's all that's happening right now. Um, I can't have a take on it. Supposedly, he commits suicide in Spanish prison, in Spanish jail. Uh, people are going to say that uh, because it's easier to get money from a live person, that there's no way that he didn't commit suicide because the government doesn't want his, mo wants his money. Like, I don't know that that amount of money... I don't know that that's really the uh, going to be the determining factor of how he died. I don't know if the amount of money that the government wants to reclaim from him. It, I just don't know that either. So, you know, along with everything, I don't know. There's more, way more, way, way more than I don't know than I actually do know. And, uh... Yeah, walk that that fine line, you know. It's 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 because um uh it, it you'll come out smelling like a dozen roses and there's going to be uh charlatans and shit people like, you know, trying to compartment you know, coming for the energy basically because of the compartmentalization that happened then they come for your energy. They always come for your energy. It's like a curriculum, and it's like it gets. You know how they bring people on way past their prime. Athletes, divas, divas, athletes. They bring them on past their time. Musicians like they want to hear them sing a song when their voice is crackling when they can't produce the. This is they do this shit. And then they sit around like, oh, we're, are we fucking wonderful for remembering you? And that's not how they want to be remembered. You know what I mean? Like, this shit is too convenient sometimes. Like, it's a whole script and shit. Like, fucking, it was his time. But sometimes people don't decide when it's their time, but it's still their time. And we just up to us to find out whether or not it was... Uh, you know, by way of human interaction, just like with some chemicals, right? Some there are some chemicals that would never exist if it wasn't for human interaction, and we need to kind of go back and find out what those were, what those are, and shit. I don't know if that's you know, it's not going to be everybody's um uh mission in life to do that. I'm just saying, you know, if you're going to be a considered a, to be a real chemist or some shit, and at some point in time, you're, not, you're either fucking with the science or you're not fucking with the science or you're not trying to do the knowledge and whatever reason, it's because you want to be ignore aspects of reason. That would declassify you from scientist to developer or a doctor to a developer because you're ready to go. Even if you find out that something is not ethical it's okay, you have the resources and you've allocated the laboratories and people who are ready to go right now. They wanna go, they wanna move on this now. We already know, it's just some shit that fucking they talk about 
like, uh, you would have to expect that they've been fucking with for years and shit. You know what I mean? So you don't have to worry about what's going to do to you because they've been, you know what I'm saying? If 5G was going to really be so bad for me, then it would have been bad for me back when there was 3G, when it was, uh, uh, what's it called? Was it was it 3G? It wasn't that. It was 3... Something. Before 4G. 3. I thought they were calling it something else. See, I confuse myself. I make myself look way dumber than necessary that it is even possible. Yeah, it was 3G. Oh my god. How do I confuse myself that bad? <laughs> 